Good morning, Superhero Workout Nation. Joe Petra coming to you first thing in the morning. I hope you're digging the bed head. Um, I know I am. Uh, I wanted to get this done quick and early in the morning to really start this. I'm going to start doing P90X tips, and I want to start with number one uh, while I'm eating my healthy, nutritious, fruit-filled breakfast. Oh, my apples are falling. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you're starting P90X, I want to give you a tip that many people kind of forget about or overlook when they're starting this program. So many people, when they get P90X in the mail, are so excited to have it that they tend not to read the instruction book uh, or find a schedule and a rotation that will work for them to achieve their goals. So they'll just pop in a DVD, do the workout, and the next day they won't be able to walk because they really didn't read anything. They didn't really set anything up. Um, so my number one tip, my first P90X tip for you, um, when you're picking the rotation you're going to do, that's the first thing you want to do is go through and look at the schedules and decide which one's the right for you. Is it the classic, the lean, or um, doubles? With all beach body programs, mainly P90X, uh, there's a rest day. They all have rest days, but P90X is one rest day. And instead of, you know, if you get the program on like Tuesday and you start on Wednesday, and you're following a schedule, your, your rest day will be Tuesday. And that may not work for everyone's schedule. So I like to take my rest days, excuse me, I like to take my rest days on Sunday, which means my first day, my start day, will be a Monday. So if that program comes to you and you get it on a Wednesday or a Thursday, you have time. You have time to take your fit test. You have time to take your pictures and your measurements. And you have time to read the instruction book and pick the rotation that's right for you. And then once you've done all those things, then you can go through and say, all right, what's my life like? What's my schedule like? When am I going to be able, when's my craziest day? That's really the thing. Or when's the day I really just don't want to do anything? I mean, even on P90 rest day, you can do the X stretch, but really it's like, it's a break. It's, it's a time for your body to recover after that six, um, six days of hard exercise. Um, and your body's going to need it, all right? So when you're looking at your schedule, when you're looking at your life, when is my rest day? Is it a Monday? Is it a Tuesday? When is the day that's least hectic for me? For me, it's Sunday. For me, it's a time for Sundays just to do nothing, to relax, to connect with um, my fiance again, and really be a potato <laughs> on Sunday. Um, because then day one or the following week will start Monday. And I'll go Monday through Saturday. But everyone's life is different. Everyone has a different work schedule and a different home schedule. So anal um, analyze that and just figure it out. Don't get so excited, which is great. Keep your excitement up. But don't get so excited that you just start on a Tuesday and then, or you start on a Friday and you're resting on Thursday and you're working out on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I don't like working out on Sundays. That's me. So that's my first P90X tip. I'm more to come uh, in terms of nutrition tips, uh, modifications, um, getting the best results possible. Those are more to come, but thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. You can find me at facebook.com forward slash SHW Nation. Um, just abbreviation for the Superhero Workout Nation. Like my page over there. I'm also on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, hashtag your pictures with those same initials and you'll show up on our feed. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.